Hello, and welcome to this video about active listening. The purpose of this short information video is to introduce an active listening tool that can help you to listen more effectively in your conversations. This will help you to improve your interactions in the workplace and build collaborative, respectful relationships. Nancy Klein, author and pioneer of the thinking environment and awarded listener of the year says, we think we listen, but we don't. We finish each other's sentences. We interrupt each other. We moan together. We fill the pauses with our own stories. We look at our watches. We sigh. We frown. Tap our fingers. Read or walk away. We give advice, give advice, and give advice. Active listening involves stepping back and acknowledging our reactive habits. A conscious choice should be made to focus our attention on the other person, to create a safe space, and to feed back succinctly to them our understanding of the message we are receiving. This brings us to the A4 model. This active listening model consists of four steps. Attend, ask, acknowledge, and answer. Each of these components are important to signal that active engagement is occurring during a conversation. Attend is the first indication of active listening. The visual and vocal demonstration that you are engaging and attending in the conversation are important to signal active listening is occurring. The visual cues include nodding and direct eye contact. The vocal cues could include, aha, uh -huh, right, Yes, hmm. Using these signals well is an important part of communicating that you are actively listening in a conversation. The next indicator that there is active listening occurring is demonstrated through the asking of questions to clarify information. These questions need to be both relevant and timely to be effective, taking into consideration context and not interrupting the other speaker. Some example questions to help clarify your understanding might include, can I clarify that I've understood this correctly? Or, are you saying that you're concerned with how this may land with the workers in the factory? The next step is sincerely acknowledging and empathising with what the other person has said. You might do this by calling out the emotional weight this area or concern may be having on the individual. It's important that this is done with authenticity and care, so you don't come across condescending. For example, I imagine this could be overwhelming. The fourth and final step of the A4 active listening model is to answer or address the concerns expressed. This may involve further problem solving, or it may be offering a solution. This is an opportunity to give options, advice, or to collaborate on an answer. This step cannot occur without having moved through the previous three stages of attending, asking and acknowledging, as these help you to build rapport, understand depth and open the door to collaboration and finding a solution together. An example question might be, how about we enrol some of the key stakeholders beforehand and explore the benefits of this new process? So there you have it, the A4 active listening model. First, we attend by showing that we are engaged. We ask clarifying questions. Then we acknowledge the other person's experience. And finally, we answer to help them move forward, collaborating to find a solution together. The next time you have a conversation with somebody, give this approach a go. Good luck.